the people of Matebele land, who have since independence accused the government of Zimbabwe of nationalizing them, have begun various initiatives of reviving and preserving their legacy for the benefit of future generations. This has been done through a number of programs which include history narrations, commemoration of major events in their history, like the 1980s Kukurahundi genocide, and sponsoring various development projects in their area. As a counter to what the term the biased teaching of history at schools by the Zimbabwean government, they have also organized seminars where the true history, according to them, is taught. 5 June 1888, in this Mofa Treaty, Britain agreed on Zambezi River as the boundary of its protectorate, the Chunaland, Botswana, and Shashi Ramakwewan rivers as the boundary. Although the genocide which claimed the lives of more than 20,000 people from Matewelland has not been officially acknowledged by the government, the people of Matewelland continue to remember the victims of that. And we thank God that we have an opportunity to remember. And these candles remind us. We are Africans. We remember the lives of those that have gone. We remember the lives of the victims that have survived the genocide for 30 years. Historians Dumo Pepe say the commemorations are vital as they help the people never to forget about the genocide. Uh, when we, we, we go for some commemorations, we, we are reminded of our, our brothers, we are reminded of our sisters, of our fathers, our mothers, uh, boys and girls who perished in the hands of Sanu Pio. In voices among some of the people of Matebele land calling for a radical secession from the rest of Zimbabwe if the marginalization continues. Ntogozi Sindebele reporting for Zikora Mopa Reporters Network in Bulawayo.